name on your paper. First thing. Alright, get those reading fingers ready. Here we go. Use a number bond to show how you use the take from t 10 strategy to solve the problem. Number one. Kevin had 14 crayons. Eight of the crayons were broken. How many of his crayons were not broken? Okay, so over here it shows their thinking. They took the 14 and put it into a friendly 10 and a four. They subtract eight from 10, which leaves two and four, and that is six. So they broke this up into a 10 and a four. They minus eight from 10, that left them with two and the four. So that equals six. So Kevin had six crayons that were not broken. Okay. Use number bonds to show your thinking. So we're going to break this up into two pieces. What two pieces are we going to have? We're going to have a friendly 10. And then what else do we need to get to 17? We need a 7. We're going to take away the 8 from the 10, which leaves us with 2 and 7. So 2 and 7 make 9, right? Okay. We have 18 minus 8 equals blank. 18 can be broken up into a 10 and an 8. Now, do we want to take the 8 from 10? Or can we take the 8 from 8? Well, if we take away all of these, what would that leave us with? That would leave us with 10. Which makes sense, because if you have the 18 minus the 8, you just have the 10 remaining. Now this one says, count on to solve. Okay, so we're going to start at the smaller number and count up to the 13. So we're going to say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That took 5 dots, so 13 minus 8 equals 5. Okay, 15 minus 8. So we're going to count from 8, we're going to count up to 15. So we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That took 7 dots. So 15 minus 8 equals 7. Turn it over. Let's read the directions. Complete the subtraction sentences by using the take from 10 and count on strategies. Check the strategy that seemed easiest to you. Okay, so we're going to do the take from 10. So we need to make a 10. And then a 2, because 10 and 2 make 12. If we took away 8 from 10, that would leave, uh, leave us with 2 left, plus this 2, so that would be 4. Or, what if we did the counting on method? What if we went from 8 to 12? So 8 plus what equals 12? So we would have 8. 10, 11, 12. That was pretty quick and easy. There's four dots. 
Did you prefer the first take from 10 strategy? If you did, check this one. Or did you like the counting on from eight up to 12? If you like that one better and that was easiest for you, then you check that one. Let's look at seven. We need to break the 11 into a 10 and one more. We did, we took the eight from 10, that would leave us with two and the one. Two and one makes three. Or we could count from eight and count on to 11. So that's what B is telling us, eight plus blank equals 11. So we would have eight, nine, 10, 11. So it took three, eight plus three equals 11. Choose your strategy that you thought was easiest. Was the take from 10 strategy easier for you or the counting on strategy easier for you? Check which one was easiest. number eight. 16 minus eight equals blank. 16 can be broken up into a 10 and six ones. Take eight from 10, that would leave us with two and six. Two and six is eight. Eight plus blank equals 16. Well, you could count on, or if you know your doubles, you could know right away what this number is. Eight plus eight equals 16, right? If you know your doubles, then that's gonna help you. Down here it says, did you use a different strategy? We could write yes, because we used our doubles facts. All right, let's look at this one. We have 19 minus eight equals blank. We could break the 19 up into a 10 and nine ones. We could take away eight from 10. That would leave us with two and nine. Hopefully you know that's 11, nine, 10, 11. or we can count on. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That took 11 dots. Or did you use a different strategy? Which one was easier? For you. Take from 10 or counting on. Check which one was easiest for you or if you used a different strategy, let me know what that was. When you're done, put it in the done tub. If you need to go back to finish anything, make sure you do that. If you don't have time to finish, put it in the to be finished tray.